Hi folks, um, this video is designed to um, run through a few examples um, and maybe say a few things about some of the homework that you have uh, dealing with problems for arc length using radians. As you can see, this is from section 4.1 of our pre-calculus textbook. So just to get started, I wanted to remind you about the formulas we came up with in class. Um, this first one in blue is one you learned back in geometry, where if you know what your angle is, uh, the central angle is in degrees. Of course, we just need a fraction of the circumference to get arc length, so we put that angle over 360 and multiply by 2 pi r, which is our circumference formula. Uh, what we're picking up new today is that if we measure that angle, instead of using degrees, we use radians, then, of course, we would put the, the angle, the measure of the angle, over 2 pi now, and then multiply that by 2 pi r. But since there's a 2 pi here and a 2 pi here, they cancel, and the formula becomes much easier in radians, that it's simply uh, your angle in radians times the radius. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples that we didn't get to in class. So here's a situation where we have an arc and we can see it's being cut off by a right angle. And I'm going ahead and letting you, we're letting you know that the length of the arc is 10 centimeters. So the question becomes, what is the length of the radius um, of this circle? And um, this would be a problem that uh, you can actually figure out without a calculator if instead of using um, degrees, you go with you go with the radians, right? So think about um, you know this angle right here. Of course, we know is 90 degrees, but can you f quickly figure out how many radians that is? And if so, then this formula makes it very easy to figure out what r would be if you know what s and x are. Uh, why don't you pause the video and give it a try, and then we can check your work with what I do. See if this is what you got. Okay, so it's, it's actually not too hard to figure out how many radians this is. We think, you know, you can think a couple of ways. We want to just go need a fourth of 2 pi, which is all the way around the circle in terms of radians. Um, or you could even say it's just half of, you know, it's half of 180 to get 90, so half of pi um, to get 90, to get uh, our radian angle. So it just ends up being pi over 2 is our, is our radian measure. And so if it, since that wasn't too hard to figure out, then it becomes very easy to just plug that into our x times r formula. And then, of course, we want to divide by pi over 2, but dividing by pi over 2, remember, is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So, so all we have to do is take 10 times 2 over pi, okay? So think about it as we're going to multiply to change this number in front of r to a 1. We need to multiply the right-hand side by 2 over pi to get the pi and the 2 to cancel and leave us with 1r. And so we're going to do the same thing over here, all right? And, you know, if we go ahead and, and turn that 10 into a fraction, 10 over 1, then we have 10 over 1 times 2 over pi, and we just multiply straight across, right? We get 20 over pi centimeters, which is what? Approximately, if we consider that pi is close to 3, then, you know, this is some number between 6 and 7, right? Um, somewhere around, probably closer to 7 than it is to 6 in terms of how many centimeters we're talking about. Of course, you can plug that into your calculator and get a uh, much clearer approximation. All right, so let's move on to the next example. All right, so here is the next uh, problem. And uh, we just want to see, so how far does a point on a wheel, let's assume the point is on the edge of the wheel, okay, a radius 24 inches travel if the wheel makes two and a half or 2.5 rotations. And of course the challenge might be, uh, can we do this without a calculator, right? Now you might not think that you can use the formula for arc length for this, but, but that, this really is an arc length problem. Because um, when a point on the edge of the wheel, you know, goes around several times, it's tracing out an arc. 
and we want to figure out how long that arc is. Even, even though that arc is uh, more than one, uh, you know, one time around the circle, we can still treat this as an arc length um, problem. Let's take a look and see. Remember now that um, angles can now be more than you know, 360 degrees or more than 2 pi radians, so that's what makes this possible. Um, we just have to figure out how many radians, let's go with the radians here, is two and a half rotations. All right, so once you get that, you know the radius, you should be able to figure out the arc length, and as I said, um, see if you can do this without a calculator. Why don't you pause the video and give this a shot, and then you can check and see if you got what I got. Okay, so I decided just to come over here and figure out how many radians it would be if we went two and a half times around. Of course, every time around is two pi radians. So 2.5 times two pi, well, it might be a little easier since I'm not using a calculator. Let me just change 2.5 to a fraction, right? So that would be five halves, all right, um, times two pi, and the twos cancel. So we're just left with five pi, and that would be five pi radians. And since our angle's in radians, um, we'll just come over here and multiply that by the length of our radius. And 24 times 5, right? Let's see, 2 times, uh, 20 times 5 is 100. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. So very quickly, we can get 120 times pi inches. And there's the exact answer. Now, approximately, Approximately, I'm saying I'm thinking 360 inches, though I know it's more than that because I'm just doing 120 times 3. If we actually multiply um, 120 times pi, my calculator is giving me about 377 inches. I think it says 376.99 inches. So it's a, it's a bit more than 360, but that gives us an idea. Um, and let's see, in terms of feet, right, that's about, what, 30 feet there. Um, if you divide 360 by 12, that's 30 feet. So it's a little more than 30 feet. Okay, um, hope this has helped. Now, of course, when you get on the homework, you're gonna see some problems that will just ask you for arc length, and they may give you the angle in degrees and not radians. And it's fine if you wanna use the, the formula you learned in geometry um, to do that. But if the other way, and I think some of the problems will ask you to do this, um, they may ask you to first convert to radians. And once you do that, uh, then you can use this formula here. All right, hope this helps and uh, we will see you in class.